Hi there traders, welcome to Elite Currency. My name is Chris and this video is all about the analysis of Euro dollar and pound dollar, taking a look at patterns, chart patterns and price action. All right, let's kick off with the Euro dollar. This is the daily chart and looking at the moving averages, we can see that the Euro dollar has been in a massive uptrend really for a very lengthy period of time here and uh, no doubt about it, price is nicely above the moving averages and the moving averages are aligned to the upside. We had some great uh, trending here, a big pullback here recently in fall last year, in November last year, but then price broke above that correction, this uh, kind of bull flag pattern that was identified as a wave four correctly, and price then broke above that flag, made a hook back to the 21 EMA, and is continuing higher. Now price is making again a retracement to the 21 EMA zone for the second time, one, two, after finishing basically this bull flag right here. All right, so two, this is the second attempt. So this could be another wave four of a lower degree, and there could be one more higher high as a wave five of wave five. So this could be a pullback within the trend. How can you identify retracements and trends? Well, basically trends are very simple with moving averages, right? We see that here, this was a very trending part, so that's very simple. And pullbacks, well, price moving to the 21 EMA, here, here, and here, are types of pullbacks, here and here, maybe two, and here as well. All right, so I didn't count this one because this was a minor pullback as the moving averages didn't um, change colors. All right, so uh, they stayed bullish. So that's the difference between minor and major pullbacks as well. Now, of course, we're not sure that this is a pullback. It could be the start of a downtrend. And if price were to break below uh, this bottom right here, that could be possible. I still don't think it's very likely. But uh, it, it could be 121.50, I think, is very important for that. So this could be still very strong support. But if it does break through that, these purple lines, then yes, it could retrace back to the long-term moving average, for instance, right? If we look at the, the oscillator, I don't see any divergence between the recent tops. You can see here this top and this top, right? There's no divergence. There's still convergence. So I'm expecting price to break this high just to create divergence and at least get that. Otherwise, a reversal does not seem likely at this moment. So uptrend continuation does look good for multiple aspects, but Will price continue higher? We had two dojis last week. Yesterday was a bullish candle. And uh, it's not necessarily so that price will immediately continue. Why? Because it has resistance above it. It has this bottom right above it. It has this top on the left to, to deal with. And it has the upper band of the moving averages to deal with as well. So that's kind of a level of resistance around 123.25 that price would need to break above before you have a full full fledged breakout. So that's resistance. Here's resistance, of course, the previous top, and this is the support zone. And price is caught in between support and resistance, but when we look at trend, obviously that there's a good chance that this is a retracement within the trend, so there's a better odds for a breakout trade, a bullish breakout above this resistance uh, than a bearish reversal at this moment. So let's dive into the four hour chart. You can see that price probably made an ABC correction like this. This is something we discussed already in previous videos often enough. And that correction seems to be have seems to be have uh, seems to have been completed uh, at the, the previous support zone. As you can see here, there was a previous support zone, momentum, sideways momentum, those zones often act as support. And price is indeed respecting that zone by making a bullish reversal. So there was consolidation here. There were a lot of support fractals, a lot of resistance fractals. And price broke above those resistance fractals uh, recently, today slash yesterday, probably today actually looking at the four hour candles, yes. So there could be already an early indication of a bullish breakout um, right now, in fact. All right. So price has already broken above this resistance trend line as well. As I said, it broke above these fractals. So this could be already a breakout. It just needs a little bit more confirmation. As I said, the 123.25 zone is 
pretty strong. So what could happen is that price hits this zone, makes a little bit of retracement, and then bounces and continues like this. Something like that could happen. The next breakout, or maybe even this bounce, are potential trade setups to, to think about as your dollar continues, most likely continues higher, all right? Looks bullish so far. Of course, it would be good just, you know, from a country point of view, uh, it would be good if it breaks above the 38.2 fib as well, 123.30. So that could be all reasons why price makes a little bit of a dip here. But ultimately, I'll be looking for price to, to find support at the broken resistances, at this trend line. And the confirmation of that would be bullish candlestick patterns or the next breakout here for a continuation higher. The targets, basically, obviously, the first target could be 124 ish that's the 61.8 fib 125 which is the previous top but if price continues then we can put a fib from here to here and that uh, basically price could go to the minus 272 target at around 127 127 50. all right that would be the next target on the list all right pound dollar is basically showing some kind of correction at this moment it Failed to break above this resistance, right? Which I said yes, uh, I know on the weekend, I said that one more lower low seemed likely. There was indeed a bounce, but price did not break this bottom. So there are two things going on. Either this is a wave four and we'll still get a breakout for one more lower low within wave five. In that case, price would need to break below this support trend line at the very minimum, probably break below this horizontal level as well. All right, that could be a bearish breakout, and I would not expect price to make much uh, gain to the downside. I think that it could make a slightly lower low, and that's it. That's the end of the downside, I would expect, maybe around 137.50, 137.25. 37 Alternatively, if price does break above the resistance level, then this is not a way four. All right, that's, that's not a way four, because then... Wave 4 is going into the territory of price, uh, wave 1 price territory. That's not allowed according to the rules. So in that case, uh, it probably completed the wave C here. This was an A, B, C most likely. And the wave C has been finished at the most recent bottom. And this could be a start of a new uptrend. This could be wave 1, this could be wave 2, and this could be wave 3. So if we do get a bullish breakout here, right, there could be a pretty swift move to the upside and pretty um, impulsive, all right? So what I'll be looking for, I'm not sure if I would trade the pound, I like the euro dollar more, but a bullish breakout candle, I would say that could, four hour candle that could break above 139, I think. That would more or less, uh, in my view at least, be the breakout candle that I would be looking for. Once again, I'll probably trade the euro dollar, but if I had to trade the pound dollar, I would probably look for a breakout above 139 round level, and that should be a you know, good indication of a upside stop loss. I would probably put below these fractals, and one of the two fractals. And um, the target, well, conservative target would aim for the counter fib 50, 61, put it fib 140, 50, 141, 20. But of course, it could go further, it could go even up to this top, make double top, maybe even break the top, but that's pretty far from now for the moment. All right, so that's my view on pound dollar. More analysis you can find on EliteCurrency.com. Just go to free analysis and uh, you'll find it there. You can also, of course, go to our homepage and download the ECS start, 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 start package, excuse me, ECS dot start package for more free material, tools, and ebooks. All right. See you very soon and wish you good trading. Cheers.